How do I know what's the right equipment to match with the right trip? Today we're talking about experimenting with gear to find the right systems for you and your family. Hello again everyone, I'm Jason. It's Mental Health Awareness Month and we are continuing with a few videos on some of the mental aspects of our outdoor adventures. Today, I wanna to talk about how my family and I approach matching our gear and gear systems to specific conditions and activities. That may sound simple, but a lot of things can go wrong actually if we aren't careful. If a key piece of gear simply fails the situation, it could end the trip or worse, end up being dangerous. The first thing I do is make a distinction between what I call apex trips and regular trips. The apex trips are the big deals. These are the trips that we take that require significant planning or that we build our skills or fitness for. These are not the trips we could just take at the drop of a hat. These apex trips are the trips I want to have our gear systems dialed in for. They are the end goal. They're the trips where we're pushing our edge already, so the equipment just has to work. The other trips we take as we build our fitness or skills or whatever are therefore also our opportunities to experiment with our equipment. These are the trips that are well within the margin of our abilities or for which it's not a big deal if we bail or both. What I do then is back plan for the Apex trip. What equipment systems do I think we need? For example, do we need a system for belaying two people at once? Do we need cold weather clothing? Do we need a zero degree or even potentially warmer sleeping bag? Some of those systems I'll have no questions about. I know how to manage a twin rope system so that a team of three can climb quickly. But for some of those systems, I won't know for sure what my ideal setup will be. If we're going to be sleeping in minus five degrees, can I get away with a zero degree bag? Does it matter if we have a bigger or smaller tent keeping our body heat closer together? What about changing the insulating mattress? So for the systems that have some question marks, I start to experiment as I go out on my regular outings. And like any good experiment, I want to limit the variables by attempting to change only one thing at a time. Taken literally, that's impossible. You will never go out in exactly the same weather and to the exact same altitude and all of that. But I can control how I piece together my systems and the equipment choices I make on each outing. If you saw my video on how I got to a zero degree sleep system that weighed only three pounds, that video gives you a walkthrough of this type of experimentation. In short, the first thing I did was change the air mattress. Then I changed the placement of the foam pad, moving it from below the air mattress to above it to help with convection heat loss. Then I changed the foam pad itself. Then I finally changed from a bag to a quilt. The key to this process was making only one gear change at a time. It can be tempting to want to make wholesale changes when you feel like something isn't working. But for one, that can be expensive. And for two, that doesn't let you truly evaluate if any one piece of gear made things better or worse than the previous setup. And you can extrapolate this process to multiple systems if you have questions about any of them. What if I wear this parka instead of that parka? What if I bring camp booties for my feet? What about a felt line pillow over a nylon pillow? What if I wear a face mask to warm the air I breathe in? Again, the key is to try to change only one thing at a time. I will try to have a dialed set of systems prior to the Apex trip so that I know I can rely on my gear when I'm out pushing my edge. I never bring a brand new, never been tried piece of equipment on one of these big, hard trips. Only after the Apex trip is over do I go back to experimenting again, finding the next set of equipment to outfit the next big trip. Thanks for coming to the end of this video. Since you got all the way here, please hit that like button, ring that bell and subscribe, and check out our website at shortguysbetaworks.com to find gear lists, all of our videos, and additional thoughts and information. Do you have any gear systems that you've worked long and hard to dial to perfection? Let us know which system and how you got there in the comments. We'll see you next week and keep on getting more out of that big outside.